Hi, this is Lang with Homeless in Modesto, and we're here with Misty and Tracy, who were displaced from the fire up in Paradise, and we wanted to get their story. They find themselves here at Bear Brook Park in Modesto. Um, we moved in with um, a lady that rented us a room. Um, uh, before that, we were homeless because of somebody actually stealing money, uh, the scam houses. Mm. We got scammed. So we ended up finally getting into a place, and then the whole fire thing happened. Well, I decided... I didn't know anywhere else to go other than Modesto because I grew up in Modesto. Mm -hmm. when I left when I was like 15. Mm -hmm. And I came back here and I heard about Bearbrook and we came to Bearbrook. Mm -hmm. But the Red Cross said that they could not help me because I have no proof of address. Mm -hmm. No proof that I live there because my Washington driver's license was expensive. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to go, you know, rush. It's just been a whole, we're broke. We're not, we're not rich, but, mm -hmm. and it's like, I don't have no proof, but my word's not good enough. And it's mm -hmm. because too many people ruin it. Mm -hmm. So you found yourself homeless again after the fire, but you did not have access to services because you didn't have the proper mm -hmm. identification. Yeah, that no correct? Proof, of proof that I lived there. Wow. And how has your experience been since you arrived at Bear Brook? It's been up and down. I've had some good experiences. I've had some really bad experiences. Um, not naming any names, but one certain lead punched me in the face mm. um, because my boyfriend and her ex-boyfriend hung out. And, yeah, it was just stupid. So what what are your thoughts about the plans to relocate the park to under the bridge on 9th Street, the gateway uh, land? I'm not real excited about it. And 9th Street Bridge, I don't know if you've heard the horror stories. Mm. I mean, come on now, let's stick to homeless. It feels like they're trying to put us out of sight. And uh, the reality of the fact is people need to see this. Mm -hmm. There's no reason any of us should be homeless. Mm -hmm. None. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm really passionate about it. Like, that's my... There's no reason for it. There's six vacant houses per one homeless person in the United States. That does not make sense to me. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that uh, in terms of what elected officials can do, what service providers can do? What's, uh... More so, we, our voices need to be heard. Mm -hmm. Because not, very, not everybody that's homeless is a drug addict, loser, uh, doesn't want to work. It's, it's, it's such a stigmatism. Segregated down to yeah. lower levels. Oh, you're homeless. I'm going to look at you like this. I'm going to treat you like this mm -hmm. just because I know you're like this. Mm -hmm. If you look it's at pathetic. Mo if it's you look America. at most out here, though, most of them are on disability. <coughs> mm -hmm. Mental health is not being taken care of, and that's a huge problem. Mm -hmm. But it, nobody wants to listen mm -hmm. because nobody wants to talk. There are service providers that I hear are in the park to access services. Has that helped? I've seen it one time out here. Okay. Okay. Other than that, I haven't seen him back out here. Okay. So. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us, and good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.